city of La Bahia, designated a National Historic Landmark, is considered the world's finest example of a Spanish frontier fort. This is the most fought over fort in Texas history, having seen participation in national revolutions, wars for independence, Spanish, Mexican, and Texas soldiers all garrisoned its fortified walls. Here at the crossroads of revolution was felt almost every attempt to forcibly change the governmental order of Texas. Presidio La Bahia is a fort, not a mission. The chapel was erected in a quadrangle for the sole use of the soldiers and Spanish settlers living in the town of La Bahia surrounding the fort. The name given to the chapel was Our Lady of Laredo and it is the oldest building on the compound in continuous use since the 1700s. All right, over here at Presidio La Bahia. It is in Goliad, Texas, where the Battle of Goliad took place. Uh, this has been kind of on a uh, bucket list for the last couple of years of uh, wanting to check out and had an opportunity to come out some friends had uh, booked a location it's uh, four o'clock in the afternoon i just shot some drone footage too which is kind of cool uh, but i'll take you on a little tour one of the turrets up here with the cannons and you can see the view that the soldier saw. And this right here is the Catholic Church, 1794 or 49. I will, uh, I'll do a little uh, update on the date. What a great place to check out. I mean, forget. That's cool. That's cool. My doorbell at home chimes that. One of the oldest churches in America, it is also one of the only buildings in existence that has the original groin vaulted ceilings in place. The striking fresco behind the altar was done in 1946 by the Michelangelo of South Texas, renowned Corpus Christi artist Antonio Garcia. Located in a niche above the chapel entrance is the statue of Our Lady of Laredo, sculptured by Lincoln Borglum of Mount Rushmore fame. This century's old chapel is where the famine's men were held during part of their captivity before being massacred. The first declaration of Texas independence was signed inside the chapel. After the Texas Revolution of 1836, while other buildings on the Presidio fell into neglect and disrepair, the chapel was still used as a place of worship and at one time was temporarily used as a private residence. An act of the Republic of Texas in 1841 restored church properties confiscated by the Republic. It was not until 1855 that the first non-Hispanic bishop of Texas, Bishop J.M. Odin, received title from the town council of Goliad. Through the loving devotion of the local residents, the chapel continues its existence as a place of worship. The Presidio Nuestra Señora de Loreta de la Bahia, better known as Presidio La Bahia, is a Spanish fort built in present-day Goliad, Texas in 1749. Through the years, it served the people of four independent nations, including Spain, Mexico, the Republic of Texas, and the United States. It is recognized for its cross-cultural, religious, and military significance. Today, the Presidio is most famous for its part in the Texas Revolution, including the Battle of Goliad in October 1835, 
and the Goliad Massacre in March of 1836. Constructed in 1849 to protect the Spanish missions of South Texas, including the nearby Franciscan Mission Espirito Santo, the Presidio La Bahia is an outstanding example of Spanish military compound. The Presidio played a critical role in developing Spanish and Mexican culture in the region. It was also important in conflicts that took place through the years of the Mexican Revolution that began in 1821 and the later Texas Revolution in 1835 and 1836. During the early 18th century, the vicinity of Goliad was better known as La Bahia del Espiritu Santo. The Spanish began populating La Bahia as early as the 1670s in response to a sudden French interest in the area. Captain Domingo Ramon of the Aguayo Expedition founded the first Presidio in 1672 near Matagora Bay to prevent further colonization attempts by the French. By 1726, the Spanish moved the original fort inland first to a site along the Guadalupe River and in 1749 to a final time to Goliad across from the San Antonio River from the newly established Franciscan Mission Nuestro Señora del Espirito Santo del Zugina. The fertile land, nearby mission, and military presence attracted many Spanish ranchers and farmers to the area, and soon the Presidio community grew into a sizable colony. In 1829, the town took on the name of Goliad, which it retains today.